Lycaon, king of Arcadia, uh, incurred Zeus's anger by violating the rule of hostility. Zeus had visited Arcadia in disguise and then disclosed his true identity. Not quite convinced the visitor was really Zeus, Lycaon arranged to have the prisoner killed, boiled, and served to his guest. Zeus recognized at once what had happened. Flinging his plate on the ground, he cried, You act like an animal, you shall be an animal. He then turned Lycaon into one of all of his descendants into wolves. Wicked Ixion had killed his father-in-law to avoid giving him an expensive present. Zeus forgave him for that brutal crime, and even invited him to Mount Olympus to sup with the gods. Ixion repaid this hospitality by lusting after Hera. To test Ixion's loyalty, Zeus created a cloud with Hera's shape, so that Ixion would be tricked into thinking the cloud was Hera herself. The unscrupulous Ixion was tricked, and he made love to the cloud. From that union came Centaurus, the father of half-man, half-horse centaurs. Ixion compounded his crime by boasting to his friends about his romantic conquest of Hera. The furious Zeus decreed an eternal punishment in Tartarus. Ixion was lashed to a fury wheel and doomed to revolve without ceasing through all eternity. You know what I want for my birthday, son? Stepson. What? I want an Xbox. A really nice new <laughs> one. I'm not gonna buy you one. That's okay, come come to Olympus with me, let's go sup. Ah, sweet. <laughs> ah, yes, but before we sup, let me show you the lovely Hera. Exquisite. I wonder if he is still loyal. I will make a cloud in Hera's shape. We shall see that. Look, Hera, only a cloud. I mean, I love you, Harold. Hey, you want to some tarts, my son? Nay! You've committed a crime. Hey, Zeus, how you doing? What you say? Oh, that you only meant well, well, cause you did. Mm, what you say? Mm, that it's all for. Eternal damnation on the wheel. 